Ladies and gentlemen, this is the $15,000 Body Slam Challenge. Now, if Big John Stud is Body Slam, he will lose $15,000. However, if Andre the Giant is Body Slammed, he must retire. Introducing first, from Los Angeles, California, weighing 367 pounds, Big John Stud. Big John Stud putting up $15,000 of his own money to prove a point, to send a clear message that there's only room for one giant in WWE, and that's Big John Stud. Bobby Heenan would love to go down in history as the manager of the man who retired Andre the Giant. From Grenoble in the French Alps, weighing 476 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant looking very confident tonight. He better be confident, JR, because if he does not slam Big John Stud, he'll be forced to retire tonight. WWE fans around the world may be getting their last look at Andre the Giant. Seems like a lopsided bet to me, King. I mean, $15,000 against a man's career. Well, Andre was willing to do it. He feels confident that he can slam Big John Stud. and gentlemen, Andre the Giant and Big John Stud face off in this $15,000 Body Slam Challenge. Well, the grudge between these two started when Big John Stud cut Andre's hair after getting disqualified in a match. Well, Stud challenged Andre to this match and put $15,000 of his own money on the line that Andre cannot slam him. Yeah, but if Andre cannot slam Stud, he has to retire from the WWE. And I believe the giant stud cannot be slammed. Well, we're going to find that out right now, King. Big John Stud is feeling firsthand what many have felt before him, the unbridled power of Andre the Giant. Oh, it's hard to comprehend the strength and power of Andre until you get in the ring with him. And by then, it's too late. For a normal competitor, I would agree, King, but Big John Stud is not a normal competitor. You put the raw physical power of the giant stud with the cunning intellect of Bobby the Brain Heenan, and I'm not sure any superstar could overcome them. Andre just may prove me wrong, though. Whoa! The ring just moved! A huge reversal from the giant! What a body shot! And those are some nice blocks there. Stud in trouble here. Andre seems to be softening him up, getting ready for the body slam. Usually you see two guys body slam each other all the time. But look at these two guys, JR. They might break the ring if they slam each other. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the first encounter between Big John Stud and Andre the Giant. These two despise each other. And all that animosity, and Andre is determined to put Big John Stud down to wear him out, to weaken him so he can finish the match and earn $15,000. And to save his career. Don't forget about that. If Andre wins, he gets the money, and he gets to keep performing for the WWE fan. 25,000-plus on their feet. He's got it. I can't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, the eighth wonder of the world, 
Andre the Giant. Andre looking for money. Look at this. He's throwing the money out. Uh oh, Bobby the Brain Heenan grabbed the bag of money. Unbelievable. More important than any amount of money, Andre the Giant does not have to retire. And he certainly doesn't need the $15,000. Andre the Giant standing tall over Big John Stone. This is the main event to be held inside of a steel cage for the WWE Championship. The winner of this match is the first man to exit the cage, either through the door or over the top. Accompanied by Bobby the Brain Heaton, introducing the challenger. From Atlantic City, New Jersey, weighing 468 pounds, King Kong Bundy. And his opponent, from Venice Beach, California, weighing 302 pounds, the WWE Champion, Hulk Hogan. Here you got it. Hogan and Bundy inside the steel cage. This is what the world has come to. Look at Hulk Hogan, the greatest professional athlete in the whole of the world. Isn't he a magnificent sight? Well, that's your opinion, JR. We may see a new champion tonight. You can see Hogan's ribs taped up heavily. King Kong Bundy did the damage to him in Phoenix, and I personally think Hogan is coming back way too soon. This is going to be a tremendous title match. And there it is. That's what we're here for. got the world's attention by attacking Hulk Hogan on Saturday night's main event a few months ago and delivering multiple avalanches to Hogan's ribs. Uh, Bundy gloated for weeks about how he put Hogan down and how easy it was. The walking condominium challenged Hogan for the WWE Championship here at WrestleMania. And let's not forget that Hogan's doctors advised Hulk to set out WrestleMania. His ribs are broken and have not healed completely. I don't believe those ribs have healed either, JR, but Hulk wouldn't miss getting his hands on Bundy for anything. And a reversal from the Giant. Bundy is feeling the power of Hulkamania. Oh, it's going to take a lot more than that to put Bundy away, JR. King Kong Bundy weighing in at 468 pounds for this matchup. I can't recall if Hulk Hogan has ever fought against an opponent this big before. 
He certainly hasn't fought a man this size while working through broken ribs. Oh, 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 the, the neck breaker. That elbow did some damage. No, not again. Making his way down the runway, the reigning Intercontinental Champion, the Macho Man, with Miss Elizabeth. This contest 
is for the Intercontinental Championship, and it is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Miss Elizabeth from Sarasota, Florida, weighing 239 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Randy Macho Man Southern. Well, I'll tell you, Macho's looking good, and Elizabeth is looking good. And listen to the ovation here in Detroit. Oh, they love the Macho Man in the Motor City. It's been just about a year and two months since Macho Man literally stole the title from Tito Santana in Boston. I am so tired of hearing about how Macho Man stole the title. The man is a world-class athlete. He won the title and has defended it for over a year. Give Savage some credit, JR. Introducing the challenger. From Hawaii, weighing 237 pounds, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat was something to prove against the reigning Intercontinental Champion. Well, Steamboat is no slouch. Savage will have to keep his mind sharp and focused to retain his Intercontinental Championship tonight. Very true, King. Ninety thousand plus are on their feet to meet and greet Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Should be an outstanding match. Ladies and gentlemen, this all started many months ago when Randy Savage brutally attacked the dragon, crushing his larynx and nearly ending his career. Yeah, Savage drove Steamboat's throat into the steel barricade with his flying axe handle and then. Gentlemen, this all started many months ago when Randy Savage brutally attacked the dragon, crushing his larynx and nearly ending his career. Yeah, Savage drove Steamboat's throat into the steel barricade with his flying axe handle and then used the ring bell to further damage the larynx from the top rope. It certainly looked like Steamboat's career was over. No one expected him to return from such a gruesome injury. Dragon rehabbed and focused on facing the Macho Man here at WrestleMania 3. This match is about more than just an Intercontinental Championship. It's about payback. Reversal. No way. That had to hurt people. Those body Macho Man Randy Savage is gifted with an almost surgical ability to target an opponent's weaknesses. The Dragon is picking his spots, trying to feel the Macho Man out to find out the Macho Man's weaknesses. Well, good luck with that, Dragon. Macho Man has few, if any, weaknesses. Every man has weaknesses, King. Steamboat's weakness is his windpipe. After all that he's had to overcome, I'm surprised the Dragon can even breathe, let alone compete an elbow. whip and you see the macho man has to be careful Three. here the dragon has found his stride and is really bringing the fight Four. to the intercontinental champion well savage has a history of letting his emotions Five. get the best of him the man nearly ended dragon's career six months ago it's one thing to defend your title but savage was trying to put the dragon out for good 
You don't know that, JR. Macho Man was defending his title. We don't know if he was intentionally trying to end the Dragon's career.
weighing 294 pounds, the WWE Champion, Hulk Hogan. The roof is about to explode as these 93,000 plus greeted. You're looking at the greatest professional athlete in the world today, the WWE Champion, Hulk Hogan. Well, he's the champion right now, JR, but he may not be in a few minutes. Let me run it down. Hogan, six foot eight, 294 pounds, neck 21 inches, chest 58 inches, biceps at a phenomenal 24 inches, hands 13 and a half inches, and that's the tail of the tape. A phenomenal individual. Just look around, King. Hulkamania is alive and running wild. Oh boy, look at the gold. This should be an outstanding match. Look at the stare. The irresistible force meeting the immovable object. Look at the size of the giant. I mean, Hogan is six foot eight. Andre is seven foot five. What could Hogan possibly be saying to him? I would certainly like to be able to read lips at this point. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Andre the Giant versus Hulk Hogan for the WWE Championship. The biggest match in the history of professional wrestling, JR. It all started when Andre came out on Piper's Pit to celebrate Hogan's WWE Championship reign. Andre got a surprise, though, as they gave him a trophy for being undefeated for 15 years. But his trophy was slightly smaller than Hogan's. Right. Then Bobby Heenan got in his ear, and before you knew it, Hogan's shirt and necklace were ripped off by Andre, and the biggest match of all time was made. That's why we're here. That's why 93,173 fans are here. In the knuckles connect. His elbow drop. A huge reversal from the Giant. Hogan found his mark, and Andre realizes that Hogan is here to fight. Well, that may be true, JR, but Andre is showing no fear of Hulk Hogan's strength. I don't think Andre is afraid of anyone or anything, King. Andre has no reason to fear any man, especially Hulk Hogan. Andre the Giant continuing to administer the punishment to Hogan. Andre headbutted the ring post. He went for a headbutt, and Hogan dropped out of the way. These 93,000 fans are watching the two most dominant competitors of all time. Hogan is determined to achieve the impossible. Oh! The Hulkster is holding on for dear life. He's got him up. Hogan's on spaghetti legs right now and needs to regroup. And that punch lands hard. What a kick. And there he goes. Watch it. making a statement here to unbelievable King. If he had told me that Hulk Hogan was going to bring the fight to Andre like this, I would have never believed it. I never thought I'd see the day. Well, I have to agree, JR. This is something that I can barely conceive of. Hogan is determined to achieve the impossible.
These 93,000 fans are watching the two most dominant competitors of all time. Only one of these men can win, JR. That's why we've set an indoor attendance record today. We got a cover. Two, a kick out. And he almost had him. A two count. Where is Hulk getting the strength from? Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event. Introducing first, accompanied by Andre the Giant, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. The Million Dollar Man being led down to the ring by Andre the Giant. If I had to stand back to back in an alley and fight, I'd definitely want Andre with me and not Miss Elizabeth. to the ring with the lovely Miss Elizabeth. Uh, we're going to see history made here tonight 
as one of these two men will be crowned the undisputed WWE Champion. Macho Man has got to be thinking about one thing, and one thing only. Tonight, in the main event of WrestleMania 4, it's all or nothing. You can feel the tension right now. This is what it has all come down to. Savage and DiBiase for the WWE Championship. Oh boy, look at the gold. This should be an outstanding match. Randy Savage has competed three times tonight already. Ted DiBiase got a bye in the semifinals due to the double disqualification between Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. Well, DiBiase is well rested, and he has Andre the Giant in his corner. The deck is certainly stacked against the Macho Two. Man. Andre beat Hogan for the WWE Championship two months ago, and then surrendered the title to DiBiase. WWE, the Million Dollar Man, feeling the fury of the Macho Madness. Savage is so unpredictable. You can try to make a game plan, but once you're in the ring, all bets are off. You have to think at some point that Andre is going to get involved. He has a direct financial interest in DiBiase becoming the WWE Champion. Everybody's got a price for the Million Dollar Man, JR. I just wonder how much Andre is getting paid tonight. Look out. What a landing. You're in trouble now. Showing some disrespect here. is feeling the match. Well, Macho had three matches earlier tonight, and he is still bringing the fight to DiBiase. DiBiase sent over the top to the floor below. Macho man to the top, and Andre has stepped in to protect the Million Dollar Man. Andre is asking Savage to jump. Oh, the Macho Man can't jump from there. I can't believe it. This is definitely going to even things out. There's Hulk Hogan! Back into the ring now. It's not looking good for DiBiase. Macho Man clearly has his number. Well, Macho had three matches earlier tonight, and he is still bringing the fight to DiBiase. That's it. He's done. Macho Man to the top. Oh, man. And Macho Man is down. Looking at the Macho Man, I think the three matches he had earlier in the evening may have taken too much out of him. DiBiase with a million-dollar dream locked in near the ropes. Andre swatting Savage away, and the ref steps in. Here comes the Hulkster with a cheer. He covers the million-dollar man, and the ref did not see it. That's terrible, JR. I can't believe Hogan would stoop to that level. DiBiase is out cold. Savage looking around and realizes victory is within his grasp. Going to the top, high risk. Night, whoa! I suggest he's going to need to see the doctor in the locker room after this one. There's the cover. Oh, oh, I think he's finished. Two.
WWE Champion, Randy Macho Man Summer. We have a new champion. It's Bedlam here. It's pandemonium. You know, I gotta say, Ted DiBiase was robbed because he had that sleeper hole sunk in. And Hogan hit him with a chair. I can't believe Hogan would do that in front of all the Hulkamaniacs worldwide. Not so man handing the gold to a wrestler. They have worked so hard for this moment. The 20,000 plus here in Atlantic City are on their feet to celebrate the new WWE Champion. Macho Man, Randy Savage. Hulk Hogan, yeah. You say you don't know where the Macho Man is coming from? Yeah, you're right. You don't know anything about the Macho Man, Randy Savage, and where I'm coming from. Because it's mind-boggling to you, yeah. How one man could make it to the top all by myself. No pukesters helping me to the left, and no pukesters helping me to the right. Didn't need him then, don't need him now. And another person I don't need is Elizabeth either, yeah. Cause I'm the champion by myself, all by myself. You don't know where I'm coming from, Hulk Hogan. It's Sunday afternoon, but I know where you're coming from, yeah. I know everything about Hulk Hogan, yeah. I know what makes you tick, yeah. And you've got the audacity, yeah, to see that in WrestleMania 5, that Hulkamania is gonna survive. <sighs> you don't know me, Hulk Hogan. You don't know where I'm coming from. After I'll beat you with that big elbow and pin you one, two, three, guaranteed victory. <sighs> I'm gonna tell you, and all the pukesters out there one last time before the Sunday afternoon. Hokamania is dead. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Approaching the ring, from Sarasota, Florida, weighing 245 pounds, the WWE Champion, Macho Man, Randy Savage. This is what we've all been waiting for. The Mega Powers will explode tonight at WrestleMania 5. Miss Elizabeth saying that she will be here tonight to support both men. How is she gonna do that? There he is, JR. Oh, and what a champion he has been this past year. Winning the title one year ago at WrestleMania 4 here in Atlantic City and coming back tonight to proudly defend the WWE Championship that he has defended all year long. And approaching the ring, Miss Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth about to make her entrance. She will have to go to a neutral corner. Yeah, what a gold digger she is, JR. I know exactly what she's gonna do. She's gonna go with whoever wins. Miss Elizabeth has been put into a terribly awkward situation. Let's not make things worse than they already are, King.
And introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, weighing 303 pounds, Hope Hogan. Listen to this place explode. Everyone on their feet to greet that man, Hope Hogan. This guy is so underhanded. He wouldn't step up to Macho Man face to face and ask for a title match. He had to go after Macho's woman. How much lower can you sink than to go after your best friend's woman? Well, you're entitled to your own opinion, King, as is everyone. Listen, Macho Man won the WWE Championship in the biggest tournament in WWE history. And Hogan just laid in the weeds and thought of a devious plan to distract Macho, to steal his manager, steal his woman, to get Macho's mind off of what he is, and that's the WWE Champion. WrestleMania 5 would be Macho Man versus Hogan, I wouldn't have believed you. But the Mega Powers are exploding before our very eyes. The Mega Powers, one of the most dominant duos in WWE history, all due to one thing, Miss Elizabeth. Savage, well known for his overprotective nature toward Miss Elizabeth, claims that Hogan has betrayed his friendship and trust by trying to steal Miss Elizabeth from him. Oh, it's like Macho Man said, JR. He's got lust in his eyes for Elizabeth. He has Hogan on the offensive against his former best friend, the Macho Man. We knew the Mega Powers were going to explode tonight. Hogan rode the WWE Champion's coattails all year long. His jealousy of Savage and his lust for Elizabeth festered until it destroyed the Mega Powers. Let's not pretend that Macho Man is the most stable of competitors here in WWE, King. The man is volatile. Just look at how he treats Miss Elizabeth. Yeah, just look at her, JR. Fame and fortune just fell in her lap all because of the Macho Man. We should all be treated so badly. A fierce kick. Here's for the Macho Man. Hogan needs to shut Macho Man down and keep him down. No, oh, with all the rage built up inside, Savage is not out of this match. Now that's the way to turn it around. It's hard to believe that these two superstars were such good friends not that long ago. It was all a lie, JR. A lie perpetrated by Hogan. He's a grandstander, a hot donger. He craves the spotlight no matter the cost. The ref is telling Macho and Hogan to get back into the ring and is sending Elizabeth to the back. Oh, nice block. Elbow connects. The floor of the match has changed again. A shot to the gut. He's got him. Hogan Two. looking a little frustrated out there. Macho Man sending a message that Three. I know you, Hogan. I know everything about you. I love it, JR. It's a cat and mouse game. These two know each other so well. It's hard to believe that these Savage absorbing a tremendous amount of damage here. With emotions as high as they are, this was inevitable. The last thing that Randy Savage would ever want is for Hulkamania to reign supreme tonight. The one you stand after that.
is in full effect. Savage said that Hulkamania will die tonight at his hand, and he just might do it. Macho Man came in here intent on destroying Hulkamania, and he's not going to stop until he does it. A clothesline out of nowhere. Uh-oh, it might be time to run. He might not be out of this just yet. Championship. Right there, you got a guy that will stoop to any level to get what he wants. The Macho Man heading to the back. Obviously disappointed in himself and disappointed in losing the WWE Championship. And there you see Hulk Hogan in the ring celebrating with thousands of Hulkamaniacs in attendance. This capacity crowd on their feet as history has been made in Atlantic City at WrestleMania 5. Hulk Hogan defeats the Macho Man for the WWE Championship. This is the main event of WrestleMania 6. It is scheduled for one fall, and it is title for title. Introducing first, weighing 275 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, the Ultimate Warrior. Listen to the ovation for the Ultimate Warrior, and here he comes. He's running to the ring. I think that's a mistake. He should be conserving his strength right here. He's facing the challenge of his life, JR. Well, you may have a point there, King. However, the Warrior looks to be in great shape. And this crowd is going bananas. 67,000 plus have waited for this moment, JR. And it's going to be interesting as the crowd seems split 50-50. It's a toss-up, the same as the match. And his opponent, from Venice Beach, California, weighing 303 pounds, the WWE Champion, Hulk Hogan. And there he is, Hulk Hogan, the WWE Champion. It is deafening in here. The crowd response is unbelievable. I'm not even going to try to talk over this crowd, JR. Champion against champion. Title for title. This is what it's all about. This is what has brought 67,000 strong to WrestleMania 6, and they are ready. Both men are in tremendous physical condition, JR. You notice how Hogan took his time coming to the ring? The Warriors already sweating more. Oh, that's a sign, JR. Thank <laughs> you. 
The ultimate challenge is on, ladies and gentlemen. This representing crowd firmly split between WWE Champion Hulk Hogan and the Intercontinental Champion, the Ultimate Warrior. Winner takes all, JR. The world has clamored for this match since the two cross paths in the Royal Rumble. Hogan called Warrior out, and Warrior said yes. I have never heard a crowd so split down the middle. It's as if they want to cheer for both men, but can't. One way or the other, JR, tonight we make WWE history for the first time ever. One man will hold both major titles in the WWE. What an impressive Russian leg sweep. Oh, Lord on Warrior bringing the fight to Hogan. And Hogan is feeling it. Hogan isn't used to... Look out! A double clothesline. Oh, what an epic match. Both men are down. I don't even think the ref wants to end it this way. He's counting very slowly, giving these two the time to recover and continue this epic confrontation. These two men are almost equally matched. For the life of me, I can't really pick a clear winner. When the stakes are this high, JR, you leave it all in the ring. The Warrior is up. Hogan is up. The count has stopped. This match will continue. Blocks it. The sound is echoing to the far reaches of this packed arena. And atomic drop, pressing the spine. And he strikes with a quick kick. Oh, this isn't good. These two men are almost equally matched. For the life of me, I can't really pick a clear winner. Which one is going to survive? Well, oh, right now, Hogan is cut. And his attack misses. What a reversal. Oh, look at the emotion. Impervious. 
Davis to those big right hands from Warrior. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Making his way to the ring, weighing 310 pounds, the WWE Champion, Sergeant Slaughter. The WWE Champion, Sergeant Slaughter, has turned his back on America. Well, Slaughter reinvented himself wrote a whole new playbook. If Hogan expects to win this match and the WWE title, he'll have to pull out all the stops. It is easier to keep the title than it is to win it. Hogan will have to dig deep if he expects to defeat Sergeant Slaughter. And introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, weighing 303 pounds, the immortal Hulk Hogan. It's mayhem here in the City of Angels. It's Hulk Hogan. I have never heard an ovation like this for anyone in my life. Hulk Hogan waving old glory as he makes his way to the ring. Looks to be in the best shape of his entire life.
Oh, boy. Look at the goal. This should be an outstanding match. You can feel the electricity here tonight. Sergeant Slaughter versus Hulk Hogan. This is about so much more than the WWE Championship. This is about American pride. Slaughter returned to the WWE with a new attitude. He's turned. Slaughter is looking for any advantage that he can get. He'll stop at nothing tonight. Hulk Hogan is not just fighting for the WWE Championship, but for all of America. Sergeant Slaughter won the WWE Championship from the Ultimate Warrior at the Royal Rumble. Hulk Hogan won the Royal Rumble match. Hulk Hogan is a Patriot missile, ready to explode at any moment. Hogan wants that WWE title bad, but he wants to make Sergeant Slaughter pay for turning his back on the USA. Slaughter shocked the world when he returned to the WWE after a five-year absence, and as an I, we are seeing history made here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This championship match is about much more than titles and win loss records. This is about pride. Well, that's right, JR. Sergeant Slaughter has a lot to answer for. Not just to Hogan, but to the entire United States. Every red belt of America wishes they could get their Two, hands on Slaughter three, for Slaughter's Hogan. Yes. Here is your winner and new WWE Champion, Hogan! He got him! Hogan did it for WWE and the United States of America! History has been made tonight! An unprecedented three-time winner of the WWE title! Hulk Hogan, the WWE Champ once again! Undoubtedly, this has been the most memorable night in WWE history, and you are a part of it! I've never seen anything quite like this. The goal, once again, around the waist of Hulk Hogan. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Approaching the ring, accompanied by Mr. Perfect from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 232 pounds, the WWE Champion, Rick Flair. This is what it's all about. The goal is on the line. The WWE Championship, helped by Ric Flair, and Macho Man wants it back. Now, if you want to be fair to Flair, you got to be fair and say, that's one heck of a road. Confidence oozing out of the reigning champion, Ric Flair. Introducing the challenger from Sarasota, Florida, weighing 245 pounds, Macho Man, Randy Savage. Listen to this place go crazy. A standing ovation for the Macho Man. Oh, this match is going to make history, JR. All the weeks of humiliation and frustration, all the verbal taunts and the alleged photos of Miss Elizabeth. And now it's all come to this.
Ric Flair may have done himself no favors in enraging Macho Man as much as he has. tremendous title match and there it is that's what we're here for here we go ladies and gentlemen macho man randy savage versus rick Flair for the wwe championship well let's go ahead and get this out of the way right now rick Flair, savage is motivated like never before fighting for the love of his life fighting for the honor of miss elizabeth Savage isn't thinking like a man who wants to win a title. He just wants to tear Flair apart. Well, let's be honest, King. If there is one man whose woman you don't disrespect, it's Randy Savage. Well, Macho Man can be a control freak, and the antics of Flair and Mr. Perfect have sought to push him over the edge. That's a dangerous game to play with Randy Savage. I guess he's just going to ink back for now. Nice submission hole here, controlling the body. This is such a painful hole. Oh. Rick Flair is getting what he deserves. You can only push Macho Man so far to invade his home life and disrespect his woman. Savage is not letting Flair out of this match without giving him the beating he deserves. You know, Macho Man isn't the most stable guy to begin with. I can't imagine his state of mind right now. I think it's safe to say that Macho Man doesn't so much as want to win the WWE Championship as he wants to take it away from Ric Flair. Randy Savage has been waiting for this day for weeks. The WWE Championship is important, but this is about defending the honor of Miss Elizabeth. Not Ric Flair. Absolutely one of the greatest to ever lace up a pair of boots is being tested to his absolute limits tonight. Savage is fighting for so much more than the gold. He's fighting for Elizabeth. Where, oh my God, he just smashed him. Incoming. Now that's what this capacity crowd is to see. We got a cover. What is that? Oh, come on. Perfect broke up the three count. Come on, somebody do something. The ref trying to separate Perfect and Savage. Wait, Perfect gave something to Flair. Flair with something in his hand. Flair used that foreign object on Savage, and Macho Man is down. is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. That'll chip your teeth. He's really been zeroed in on, but he's still showing some signs of life. I think I saw a two fly out. Down it goes. Control again. Man, this is why he's considered to be one of the greatest world heavyweight champions to ever live. Man, what a collision that was. Boy, he was able to reverse it and get out of that. He's in big trouble. Russian leg sweep. My God. And 
Savage kicks out convincingly. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. And did you hear the impact on that kick? The Nature Boy has gone for the pin. Here's the cover. Here's the pin. Elizabeth in the ring to celebrate. And where is Irate? Flair plants a good kiss right on Elizabeth. Elizabeth going right after Flair. Oh! And now it's Mayhem. Your winner and new WWE Champion, Macho Man, Randy Savage. As once again, Macho Man has regained the WWE Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger, weighing 505 pounds, Yokozuna. It would seem that the odds would be in favor of that man, Yokozuna. As soon as Yokozuna came out to the ring, the sky became cloudy. That's a bad sign for Bret Hart. The odds makers here in Las Vegas have Yokozuna as the heavy favorite to win. No pun intended. week for this young man but he is here and he is ready to fight yokozuna has not once looked away from the wwe championship around brett's waist he is focused and ready for this challenge the wwe championship means so much to bret hart it's all about earning respect and earning the wwe championship something that bret hart has trained his entire career for since his arrival here in the WWE. It is certainly an uphill battle for the WWE Champion, Bret Hart. Yokozuna won the Royal Rumble to earn this title match. That's right, and then completely unprovoked, Yokozuna attacked Bret Hart during the contract signing. Well, it was a cheap shot, but sometimes you take every advantage you can when the WWE Championship is on the line. to the gut. Brett 
Hudson, when you get nailed by a 505 pound man, it's like getting hit by a truck. Yokozuna is a massive athlete. Bret Hart can't even get his arms around Yokozuna. That's how big a man Yokozuna is. Bret Hart knows firsthand just how big Yokozuna is. If you recall, Yokozuna hit Hart with that bonsai drop during the altercation at the contract signing. Oh, I'm surprised Bret can even compete after that. It's a testament to the toughness of the hitman. An elbow. Nice, well-placed kick to the rim. Yokozuna is a talented martial artist. The man knows how to strike and is deceptively agile for a big man. Bret Hart needs to just survive Yokozuna's onslaught. Good grief. A very effective Irish whip. Yokozuna is on a mission tonight. And when you get a man his size motivated, it's hard to stop him. Brett is down, and he took the turnbuckle with him. Oh, that exposed turnbuckle is very dangerous. It can turn the tide of a match. Yokozuna goes face first into the exposed steel of the top turnbuckle. has a sharpshooter applied. Brett's got it locked in. Wait a minute. Mr. Fuji just threw something into the eyes of Bret Hart, and the ref didn't see it. We got a cover. Two, there's two. Three. Bret Hart is trying all that he can to hold. Here is your winner, and WWE Champion, Yokozuna. Bret Hart had Yokozuna in the sharpshooter until Mr. Fuji threw ceremonial salt in the hitman's eyes. Issue your challenge. If any intestinal fortitude, you would accept my Yokozuna challenge. Come on! Come on, you yellow belly! Come on! Brett's telling Hogan to go for it. And Hulk Hogan is in the ring! Wait a minute. Oh, no! Fuji going for the salt and trying to blind Hogan. And he hits Yokozuna by mistake! The WWE title changing hands two times. What a day it has been, and what a way to end WrestleMania 9. Ladies and gentlemen, in the following contest, there are no rules. The only way to win is to ascend the ladder and remove both belts to become the undisputed Intercontinental Champion. Introducing first, a 
accompanied by Big Daddy Cool Diesel from San Antonio, Texas, weighing 234 pounds, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels has his sights set on Razor Ramon and the Intercontinental Championship hanging over the ring. Shawn Michaels looks to be a new man 
Adams lane. Sean underestimated Razor Ramon tonight. Come on, Sean! All right, I'll admit it. I'm a little worried now. I didn't expect Razor Ramon to test HBK to his limits. Razor Ramon is showing HBK exactly what happens when you cross the bad guy. Come on, Sean! That's the sort of thing that ends careers, JR. The self-proclaimed bad guy will go to any lengths to defend his title here tonight. Here we go! Razor's Edge! Shawn Michaels with a desperation move sends Razor Ramon to the concrete. is the undisputed WWE Intercontinental Champion. But at what price? What did it cost him? I don't think either of these superstars will ever be the same. These matches leave a permanent mark on you. What a matchup with Shawn Michaels. Approaching the ring 
accompanied by Mr. Fuji, weighing 505 pounds, the WWE Champion, Yokozuna. And now, Yokozuna will square off against Bret the Hitman Hart. What kind of condition physically is Bret Hart in? What kind of condition mentally is Bret Hart in? And that may be the key right there. Well, that's right. Physically, he's probably been in worse shape before, but mentally and emotionally, never. He's got to be at the lowest point in his career, and that's what's going to spell doom for Bret Hart. Yokozuna, unquestionably a monster. Are you kidding me? Look. 
himself out. Well, that made easy picking for Bret Hart.
Undertaker against King Kong Bundy. Ted DiBiase has paid a fortune for Bundy to come to WrestleMania and put the dead man six feet under. Well, in my opinion, that was money wasted. King Kong Bundy is no joke, but he is no Undertaker. This is Bundy's fourth WrestleMania appearance, and The Undertaker's fourth as well. Oh, The Undertaker is all over King Kong Bundy. Undertaker not taking very kindly to the interference of Bundy at the Royal Rumble. Uh, Bundy's just resting, JR. It's going to take a lot more than that to stop a machine like King Kong Bundy. This is The Undertaker's fourth WrestleMania appearance. He's been perfect in his first three matches here. Well, if anyone can... The Undertaker delivering a message to Bundy. No matter who you are, no matter how big you are, you are no match for the dead man. Bundy may be the exception to that, JR. You know the old saying, the bigger they are, the harder they hit. The legendary Gorilla Monsoon said it best. This is the irresistible force versus the immovable object. Bundy ain't gonna move, JR. No matter what the creatures of the night may want.
Michigan, weighing 317 pounds, the WWE Champion, Big Daddy Cool Diesel. We are live, ladies and gentlemen, at WrestleMania 11 in Hartford, Connecticut. Big Daddy Cool Diesel against his former tag team champion partner, Shawn Michaels. We're going to see firsthand who the weak link of that tag team was, JR. Just look at the size of Diesel. Eat your heart out, Shawn Michaels. ditched Michaels and vacated the tag team titles. Just three days later, Diesel pinned Bob Backlund in just eight seconds to win the WWE Championship. Now it's time for Sean to teach his former bodyguard a nice lesson. Well, Michaels gets his shot to do just that tonight, King, by virtue of his victory at the Royal Rumble two months ago. Look at Sean Michaels. He has to be quick. He's going to have to use his agility and cunning to negate the brute force of Diesel. Sean is a ring technician, JR. Technically, I'm not sure if Diesel even knows what a ring is. He was able to reverse that. Sean Michaels, the main event, certainly has the means to back up his confident attitude. What a knife edge chop. Man, oh man, look at Big Daddy Cool now. This is Diesel power. Gosh, look at these shots. Diesel's so powerful, he could go for a pinfall right now. Right in the kisser. He's putting those educated feet to good use. And a vector-like reversal by Shawn Michaels. That elbow did some damage. That'll give you a big old goose egg. Wow, he didn't expect that to happen. Hey, a reversal by Diesel. It's seven feet tall. Diesel's got the leverage. At 317 pounds, he's got the weight. Sean Michaels has said that he will do whatever it takes to win the WWE Championship. Sean's going to fight to his last breath tonight. This is so personal to Sean Chihuahua. This will never get him in two weeks' notice. Do you know that's bad, Anika? And he goes down hard. Did you hear how his leg connected? How in the world do Lisa needs to end this thing? The longer this goes, the better it is for Sean Michaels. He's got the stamina. He's lighter on his feet. The longer this match goes, he's got the favorite HBK. Well, Sean needs to tire up Big Daddy Cool. That's his best chance to win. Here's one, two. Here's three. What a win. That's deep. Here is your winner, and still WWE Champion, Big Daddy Cool Diesel. A hard-fought matchup. 
Nonetheless, Diesel retaining the WWE Championship here at WrestleMania 11. Shawn Michaels has got to be devastated. I mean, he wanted this match so badly. Quite honestly, I think he got robbed, JR. Big Daddy Cool sending a message that the WWE is now running on diesel power. Just look at 
Big Daddy Cool. The man's a pure athlete. The doorman and the creatures of the night are closing in on victory. The hardest fought match in The Undertaker's career. It was definitely his gravest challenge. Undertaker has asserted himself here at WrestleMania. I think Diesel shrunk down to about six foot seven now. One of the hardest fought battles involving these two monsters, Big Daddy Cool Diesel and the one and only Phenom, The Undertaker. to this capacity crowd. Wait a minute. That's a hundred feet in the air. This is who we think it is. There's only one heartbreak kid song like it. Unbelievable. What a ride. Song like this, ladies and gentlemen. He could have landed anywhere in this capacity crowd or would have still landed in his trip. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen, for WWE action between perhaps the two greatest athletes who have ever done tights. And his opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brett Hitman Hart. The Hitman, Brett Hart. What an ovation. Both athletes appreciating each other, but only one will walk away from WrestleMania as the WWE Champion. And you can bet that they will both give their all. Oh, you're right, JR. And after everything we've seen here tonight, neither one of these guys may be able to walk out of the ring. Well, folks, that's what it's all about. The WWE Championship. Superstars been such polar opposites than Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. And never before have we contested the WWE Championship in an Iron Man match at WrestleMania. Bret Hart trained in the legendary Hart Dungeon. He's as old school as they come, rooted in tradition, and as skilled as any superstar that has come before him. And then there's HBK, brash, arrogant, and not afraid to tell you exactly how good he is. And he backs it up. I think perhaps. 
Phillips, the hitman, has been worrying a little too much about what the fans think of him. If Brett is not totally focused or tries to please the fans, he'll come out a loser. These people are certainly divided. Half of them are hitman fans, and half of them are for Shawn Michaels. The crowd's allegiance may be divided, but they are united in their anticipation of how this one will end. Oh, no matter who has their hand raised tonight, WWE fans will come out the winner. These two are going to tear down the house for an hour straight. Elbow drop. Now that's how you thwart the attack. submission. He made his plans very clear. I'll tell you right now, if the Hitman wins the first decision, he'll win the match. That's how important it is. What we are witnessing is WrestleMania history. Two world-class athletes fighting for the greatest prize of them all in the first ever Iron Man match. That's right, JR. The superstar with the most decisions in their favor will be the WWE Champion. Oh, the Hitman is at home in that ring like no one else. Ooh, the Hitman felt that one. The showstopper, Shawn Michaels. Watch it. Oh, and he eats a mouthful of canvas. Moving in. No! Look at that! A back body drop to HBK! The hit 
Man sending Michaels to the floor below. Oh, the tide of this match has just turned, JR. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. A big fist to the gut. Now back into the ring. Two.
gentlemen, your attention, please. The 60-minute time limit has expired. However, this match has been ordered to continue under sudden death rules, which means there must be a winner. We're in overtime, JR. This match will continue. Watch it. He looks fired up here. Oh, this is it. of what you'd want to see. Shawn Michaels being awarded the title in front of Bret Hart. The boyhood dream has come true for Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, officially the WWE Champion. We have witnessed the single greatest athletic event in WWE history. Well, I won't say he didn't earn it, JR, because he did. And I don't want to rain on his parade because right now he's accomplished his dream but he's just setting out on a journey he may not be ready for. Because defending and keeping the WWE title is gonna be harder than anything he's ever done in his life. match 
with no disqualifications here at WrestleMania. This all started after Austin won King of the Ring, and then he began to taunt Bret Hart. Austin wanted a match against Hart, but Hart wouldn't agree to it. So Austin let him have it week after week, insult after insult. Austin even cost Bret the WWE Championship during a match on Monday Night Raw. Hart taking out all that frustration, having been screwed all these many months, all these many times. These men are just beating the living heck out of each other. That's what it's going to take tonight, King. Somebody's going to quit tonight. Somebody's going to give up. Well, both of these men are proud, JR. What's it going to take for one of these men to submit at the hands of the other? These no DQ matches are so dangerous. They continue to attack with that ring bell. Man, I think something snapped inside. What a shot with the bell. Man, I think something snapped inside that brain. No sane person can do this to another human. Hart. Steve Austin is used to fighting. He has fought for everything he has ever attained in WWE. And tonight will be no different. You know, this is a new side of Bret Hart that we're seeing tonight. As of late, Bret seems annoyed by the reaction Austin is receiving from the WWE. Whip. A figure four. Listen to this capacity crowd. The referee's right there to see and hear Stone Cold submits. I can tell you this right now. Bret Hart can twist up Stone Cold's leg backwards, and Stone Cold is still not going to give up. He will not submit. And here we go. Back into the ring. not let up. He's taking his frustrations out on Austin and it's tough. Sharpshooter! Sharpshooter! He's got it on! Austin cannot reach the ropes! This is Bret Hart's move. And who can blame Stone Cold if he gave up right here? Impossible! He's doing the impossible! Nobody's ever broken the sharpshooter. He did it! Or did he? No! Bret Hart still has it on. I thought for sure Austin broke it, but no! Stone Cold trying to reach that rope. Austin will not surrender. He will not submit. The referee is stopping it! Stopping it right now! Steve Austin has passed out! Austin awesome yeah. never gave up! Austin yeah. has passed out from the pain! Bret Hart wins the match, but it's got to be noted that Steve Austin did not give up. What's Bret doing? No, no! Good God, come on, Bret! Enough's enough! I can tell you, I have never seen a display of intestinal fortitude like we just saw with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Listen to this chorus of booze directed at the Hitman. Brick the Hitman Hart has just defeated one of the gutsiest individuals ever.
Tombstone personified. Straight out of the mouth of hell comes the Undertaker's brother Kane and that evil, evil Paul Bear. If you remember, Kane is the guy that will show you a hammerlock using a real hammer.
Undertaker refusing to let up on his brother Two. Kane, continuing to deliver punishment. Kane and The Undertaker Three. are nearly identical. Each man with incredible power and resilience. Four. It's safe to say The Undertaker has never faced a challenge as big as facing his brother Kane right here at WrestleMania. Well, despite the years apart, these two know each other so well, Jay. Introducing first, from Miami, Florida, weighing 275 pounds, the WWE Champion, The Rock. What an athlete, a 27-year-old prodigy. I'm telling you, it's good to be the king, but it's got to be great to be The Rock. The Rock is the number one man in this business. The Rock is the kind of man you want representing your organization, not some foul-mouthed guy like Stone Cold Steve Austin.
This crowd is jacked. And here we are at WrestleMania 15. Superstar that seems to have the Rock's number. It's the Texas Rattlesnake. JR, is it safe to say that these guys just don't like each other? Absolutely. What a rivalry. What competition. Look out here. Oh my God, Austin's leg. Austin's leg, that heavily braced right knee. That did it. Right across that steel support, holding the lights there. And Austin may be hurt badly. Oh yeah. The Rock hasn't wasted any time, King, focusing in on that braced leg like a bullseye. <laughs> That's why he's the champ. The stakes cannot be any higher. And thanks to Mr. McMahon, nobody's getting disqualified in this match. Let me remind everybody, there are no countouts. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. The Rock's taking a little water break here. Oh! Total lack of respect shown by the champion. The Rock can do any damn thing he wants to, JR. And The Rock gets elevated and dropped. The Rock on the announce table. Oh, my God! The Rattlesnake and... Oh, my God! Oh, my God! They annihilate the announce table. And the carnage is indescribable here on the outside. Oh, go ahead and say it, JR. 
It's a slobber knocker. It damn sure is a slobber knocker. Lord in heaven, what a landing. Blocks it. Now that's a statement. to find the mark. Uh-oh. Will Stone Cold do that? Could this be it? Two. Oh, if you look at the Rock's face here, he's thinking that the Rock kicked out of the stunner. And Austin is in shock. Look at this. Here comes Mr. McMahon. Hey, Austin. Hey, you. Oh, and look. Austin tells him he's number one.
making his way to the ring, weighing in at 500 pounds, The Big Show. King, the question here is, will this seven foot two, 500 pound sleeping giant awake and become the most dominant player? I gotta tell you, JR, it's hard. It's very, very hard to pick sides against The Big Show. Seven feet two, 500 pounds the most physical man in this match. He's potentially the most dominant competitor ever.
That's right, King. It was looking like a straightforward match until The Rock beat Bishop to retain The Rock's WrestleMania title shot. And then Linda McMahon announced that the main event would be a fatal four-way and that all four of these superstars would be competing. Watch it. The Big Show is an angry, angry giant. And that is something that you do not want coming at you, especially when the title is on the line. I expect big things from Big Show in this match. Anger issues or not, Big Show is a force to be reckoned with. Size is certainly a factor when you're talking about the Big Show. The largest athlete in the world is dangerous enough on a good day. The fact that he is in a foul mood makes him only that much more dangerous. Big Show won the WCW Championship from Hulk Hogan in his first ever match. He's the only man in history that can make that claim. Superstars in the ring, and regardless of size, those odds are never in your face. The big show is looking shaky out there. When you are that big a man, the top of your back is every bit as big as you are. When you have three guys on you, wearing you down, teaming up on you, it's a perfect example of when size doesn't matter. Especially when those three guys are Mick Foley, Triple H, and The Rock. Four competitors, four champions. is in a world of hurt, King, and now McFoley has come to get him some of the great one. Triple H is directing traffic tonight. It looks like he's telling McFoley to do his dirty work. And Mick's gonna jump. Roll back into the ring. The game looking to retain the WWE Championship against two odds. Triple H is so smart. So devious, I'm sure he's got a great game plan. There is no way he walked in here without some kind of plan. Oh, he's not called the game for nothing, JR. Triple H is the ultimate student of the game. He always has a game plan, always has a way to lock out the champion. Can the Rock and Nick Foley, a great tag team at one point in time, now facing each other in the main event at WrestleMania 16. Somewhat reluctant tag team partner Nick Foley certainly has no issues in forgetting the past and focusing on the task at hand. Exactly, JR. When it throughout this entire match, Triple H has tried to get each competitor to take each other out to do his dirty work for him. The crazy thing is, these guys are more than willing to do it. It's like they forgot that Triple H is in this. Oh my! 
my God! This has gotten extremely physical. The Rock with those steel steps in position as a weapon. Triple H retaliates. The Rock is under that steel. The Rock's getting assaulted. It's down to The Rock and Triple H for the WWE Championship. Oh, I think The Rock can feel it slipping away. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Now that's how you thwart the attack. Right in the kisser. Taking him back into the ring now. Out on the floor and underneath the ring. There's no telling what's under this ring they are. Someone said have a search. And he's got something planned here. some serious trouble here tonight. What would happen, JR, if it was Mick Foley and The Rock as the last two in the ring? I'd have to pick The Rock in that scenario. One thing I've learned over the many years of calling matches ringside is to never, ever count. <laughs> Triple H with devious intentions. And The Rock counters.
Austin came out the victor that night. The Rock will do whatever it takes to not have history repeat itself tonight. The WWE Championship is on the line, JR, but these two are also fighting for some... Stone Cold Steve Austin is not in the ring with just anybody. Stone Cold is in the ring. The Rock is fighting for something that's much more valuable to him than anything else in his life. The Rock is fighting for the... Ch Look out! The Rock! Rock bottom! Rock bottom! Wait a minute! McMahon just pulled The Rock off of Austin! Why did Mr. McMahon pull The Rock off of Stone Cold Steve Austin? What the hell? Stone Cold Steve Austin wants the WWE Championship so badly, he has forsaken his hatred of Mr. McMahon!
believe this. What in the hell? I don't believe this. Stone Cold has sold his soul to Satan himself. Why, Steve? Why this way? I thought I knew that man. I thought I knew Steve Austin. I was there in the hospital when he came out of surgery. I thought I knew him. Mr. McMahon and Stone Cold Steve Austin together? This is a dawning of a new era, the likes of which we have never, ever seen before. Introducing first, representing the New World Order, weighing 280 pounds, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can love him or you can hate him. There are a lot of fans that love this legendary figure, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, returning to Toronto, and perhaps the greatest icon in the history of sports entertainment preparing to meet the future of this industry. Oh, this is so special, JR. This is so unique. I mean, this truly is a dream match, and we're going to actually get to witness it here tonight. We're going to get to see it. The Rock versus the immortal Hulk Hogan. In its history, over 500,000 fans have seen WrestleMania in the past 17 years. And since its inception, this man has headlined nine of those events. Smackdown on 
his opponents, especially with the NWO backing him. The Rock is not letting this divisive crowd response get to him. He knows that he's in the ring with a veteran, a veteran Hulk Hogan nonetheless. You think The Rock expected a mixed reaction? Do you think Hulk expected a mixed reaction? I don't know what to expect, but I know we're witnessing history here tonight. The crowd is letting everyone know that regardless of what colors he's wearing, the Hulkamania is still running wild. That's hard to argue with, JR. This is amazing. Both these men are icons. Trailblazers. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. The pillar. trust him. I hate to say that. It's a fact, though. Well, I'll be damned, King. I'll be damned. Oh, when's the last time you saw a class act like that, JR? A handshake. And that's something you rarely see. And a handshake that will be remembered for years and years to come. On this night, at this magnificent event, the young lion, the rock, has pulled it out over the veteran lion, Hogan. Look at these fans, JR. They're on their feet. They're clapping. And I think that that's going to be sick this time. As well they should.
the following contest is for the undisputed WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 272 pounds, Ripple H. This could be a very momentous night for the challenger. His dreams could come true tonight, or his career, much like his left leg, could be shattered. The game, as we have been informed, that left quad hanging by a thread. But nothing on God's earth could have kept the game away from this match on this night against this man. This is why they call him the Game King. 
Triple H is the ultimate student of the game. The undisputed championship is on the line here at WrestleMania 18. I think I see a look of concern on Stephanie's face. This can't... The game has endured the pain, the heartbreak, the frustration, the rehabilitation for what perhaps could have been his last match. What a display of courage. What a display of heart. We have a new undisputed WWE Champion. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. What a night this could be, King, for Chris Jericho. He was the first undisputed WWE champion. A kid that was actually born in New York City, and he grew up his whole life as a WWE fan. The one star in his whole life that he emulated from day one is his opponent tonight.
From San Antonio, Texas, weighing 225 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Do you think that Shawn Michaels is ready to play? Oh, <laughs> look at him. Shawn has always been a showstopper. But this match could be a show stealer. Arguably, both these men in different circles are considered pound for pound the best in the business. Shawn Michaels was the first ever Grand Slam champion, winning every major championship the WWE has to offer. A severe back injury that necessitated major surgery looked like it had ended Shawn's career right after WrestleMania five years ago. Wow, he's back with a blast now. You know one thing about Shawn Michaels, he becomes a different man at WrestleMania. situations. Today, he is a role model. He is a man that takes every day and counts his blessings. But boy, does Chris Jericho what an elbow drop by HBK. What we have here is a match where it's not about being the number one champ. Michael's moving in. Look out! has just turned, JR. Chris Jericho is a world-class athlete, no question. Oh, wait a minute. Is impersonation the most sincere form of flattery? Not when you can do it better than the original. Sweet chin music. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Jericho's lifetime, and he ends it with a low blow. 
that's damn sure sad by Chris Jericho. Well, it's frustration, JR. I mean, this match has been years in the making for Chris Jericho, and it just didn't turn out the way he wanted it to. Introducing first, from Miami, Florida, weighing 275 pounds, The Rock. The Rock, arguably the greatest third-generation superstar in the history of our business. His late grandfather, the high chief, Peter Maivia, was a superstar. The Rock's father, Rocky Johnson, a tag team champion. This young man, using the WWE to springboard to Hollywood stardom. But the one thing The Rock has never done, and I truly believe it's eaten him alive, King, is that on the grandest stage that our business has to offer, The Rock has never, ever defeated Stone Cold Steve Austin. At WrestleMania, you're right. And you're right, I have to agree with you. I think The Rock is obsessed with that now. It's become his mission in life. From Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He has earned the reputation as the toughest SOB in WWE. There is no one that has ever laced their boots any more intense any more with a will to win than Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, he's a rattlesnake, all right. He is one tough SOB. Austin raised a country boy down in Texas. The rattlesnake grew up wanting to be here, wanting to do this. This is Austin's life. This is the rattlesnake's destiny. But the same can be said for the rock. You can make a good point that who is the greatest WWE champion of all time. A lot of arguments, a lot of discussion can be had in that respect. But it very well could be one of these two men in the ring, and only time will tell. For the third time at WrestleMania, it's The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. If history is any indication, we are in for one hell of a fight. The Rock just came back to the WWE after a six-month absence. And it was a huge insult to The Rock with Stone Cold Steve Austin being named Superstar of the Decade by the WWE fans. Stone Cold is right in the middle of showing his appreciation to the fans when The Rock interrupted him and challenged him to this match here tonight. Austin has had The Rock's number at WrestleMania, and The Rock will move heaven and earth to erase that fact. Oh, the Rock. These two have battled for the better part of eight years. Austin holds two WrestleMania main event victories over The Rock. Will Austin make it 3-0 and oh tonight? Well, The Rock will do anything, I mean anything, to make sure he comes out on top tonight. This is one of the great battles that in my 30 years in the business, I've had the privilege to witness. I don't think The Rock can look back on his career with a clear conscience if he can't beat Stone Cold Steve Austin tonight. I really don't. Great counter by The Rock. What an impact from that kick. Another shot with the boot. What a vicious chop. This is WrestleMania, and The Rock 
is determined to beat Stone Cold at WrestleMania. Stone Cold may have to quit tonight. This may be the start. The words quit do not exist in Stone Cold Steve Austin's vocabulary. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the United States Championship. Introducing the challenger from West Newbury, Massachusetts, 
weighing 248 pounds, John Cena. I wouldn't want to kick off WrestleMania any other way than with SmackDown's fastest rising star, John Cena. show is defending a title at WrestleMania, the United States Championship that the show has held since last year. Have you ever remembered an athlete as dominating over the past couple of months as the Big Show has been? But not as dominant as the Big Show. When the Big Show is motivated, when the Big Show is focused, he is unstoppable. John Cena's WrestleMania debut tonight with a chance to win the United States Championship. First match of the evening here at WrestleMania 20. And you have to imagine that both these men have got to be nervous. And this is going to be a tremendous title match. And there it is. That's what we're here for. It's John Cena versus The Big Show for the United States Championship. This is the first time the United States Championship has ever been defended at WrestleMania, King. Well, John Cena has been delivering a near steady stream of insults toward The Big Show. And that's a tactic that might just backfire if Big Show gets angry enough. John Cena has really surged as of late, King. But has Cena bitten off more than he can chew here tonight? Well, King, plain and simple. Does John Cena have a chance to win here tonight? Well, I think John Cena has a chance. But in my opinion, I don't think John Cena's going to win. But that's just my view. I mean, John Cena's a world-class athlete. He's on the rise. John Cena has to try and chop down the Big Redwood Big Show. It's important to remember, ladies and gentlemen, that the Big Show has been in many high-stakes battles in his career. This is not the Big Show's first barbecue. That's right, JR. The Big Show has basically faced everyone there is to face, and that's a huge edge in a match like this. John Cena looking for his first taste of championship gold tonight at WrestleMania 20. Oh, Big Show needs to stay focused and regroup. He needs to rely on his power and stick to his game plan. Show's not out of this match. Not yet. You can never count out the Big Show. He has so many ways to punish you inside that ring. Plus, the man's a legitimate giant. That's the biggest advantage of them all. John Cena is doing the unthinkable. And the Big Show has got to be worried. Oh, man. I don't think anyone expected John in the counter. No, not again. No block. What power? Choke slam. This is John Cena's first ever WrestleMania. And one has to wonder what could be going through the mind of John Cena about right now. Well, Big Show is clearly more experienced, and that's what John Cena's got to be worried about. I mean, Cena's got to be feeling like a deer in the headlights against the Big Show. I would imagine that most men would be intimidated by the Big Show, WrestleMania or not. Look at him block the attack. Bam! A 
eight massive blow from that oak tree like arm of the big show back and forth how do these superstars keep doing it john cena is taking this match to an entirely new level cena's in trouble oh, way back for the ball away slam what a display of power that was oh and that's why you never trade punches with cena Back into the ring now. Here's a cover. Two. And Big Show's enormous shoulder manages to pop. John Cena getting a chain in hand. He can't use this. Cena's going to get disqualified. What's your obsession with the title anyway? You can't be cheating like this. The referee doing the right thing. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Wait. No, no. John Cena. The nuts in his hand off the skull of the Big Show. Cena's poised and at the ready. He's looking for that attitude adjustment to pick up the win here. We got a come on. John Cena has slain the Giant to win the United States Championship. He needed the brass knuckles to do it, though, JR. I mean, it is WrestleMania, and I guess whatever it takes, but John Cena is the new United States Champion. Please welcome the special referee for this match, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Steve Austin is going to provide a very combustible element here as the special referee for what should be King, a very physically intense matchup between one of the biggest studs on SmackDown and one of the biggest studs on Raw. Physically intense? That's putting it mildly. And something else you put mildly was saying that Austin is going to be a combustible element. Hell, he'll explode any minute. He hates both these guys, both Goldberg and Lesnar. champion made his WrestleMania debut last year at Safeco Field in Seattle where he became the youngest WWE champion in history but this match tonight is not about championship gold it's about finality who is the man will it be Lesnar or will it be Goldberg
Goldberg from the University of Georgia, where he played football, two big collegiate athletes. But this is not going to be an amateur match. This is going to be more resembling, in my view, King, a street fight. Oh, this match couldn't come at a more apropos place or time than WrestleMania 20. Goldberg and Lesnar with Austin the referee. It's unbelievable. Goldberg's like no intimidation. But for that matter, neither is Lesnar. Well, there's a sellout chant from this sellout crowd. Oh, it sounds like these fans want to see these two go. Listen to that. We'll probably see both these men beating the living hell out of each other. his hard-hitting, smash-mouth, slobber-knocking style. It's safe to say Lesnar isn't used to facing someone who can deliver as much punishment as Lesnar can take. You gotta wonder, JR, both these men have dominated their opponents during their careers. It's gotta be a shock to both guys to fight someone so similar in strength and power. Brock Lesnar is about as blue chip as they come. But right now, it's Goldberg who has Lesnar in trouble. We know what this is. Here's a cover. That's two. Goldberg showcasing his hard hitting. And Goldberg breaks Lesnar. Here is the winner. Goldberg. Well, Goldberg representing Rock proudly, defeating Brock Lesnar with a spear followed by the jackhammer as the rattlesnake raises Goldberg's hand. There was no mistake about the three count. Emphatically, Goldberg hit the big three over Lesnar. And certainly contrary to the speculation, there was no controversial officiating in my eyes. I gotta be honest with you, I'm still amazed at that. That was actually a quite reserved and docile rattlesnake in that match. He just stood back and let these guys go at it and then counted three. Something tells me that this isn't over. 
I think you're right, King. Uh-oh. What's going to happen? successful game well JBL has victories over the Undertaker Booker T Big Show and in matches like this the Texas Bull Rope match over Eddie Guerrero a triple threat match a fatal four-way the champion whether you like him or not is a survivor John Cena would lose his title opportunity. Oh, John Cena, he's got that look in his eye. He's focused. He's zoned in on JBL. But you got to remember, JBL is a tough, tough hombre. Tough to beat. He's the champion for a reason.
that's what it's all about. That's the prize they're going after right there. is the longest reigning WWE champion in the last decade. John Cena wants to put an end to JBL's championship reign. It doesn't get any simpler than that, folks. Yeah, but JBL has pushed Cena to this point. Cena won his WrestleMania title shot fair and square at No Way Out, and JBL has been a thorn in Cena's side ever since. That's an understatement, King. JBL cost John Cena the United States Championship and then destroyed Cena's custom-made Spinner Championship. JBL is no stranger to a WWE ring. He has fought wars in this ring, scratched and clawed his way to WWE Championship gold. And JBL will not give it up easily. Cena, in his first WrestleMania main event, looks incredibly motivated tonight. Tonight is the biggest opportunity in the young career of John Cena. Can he climb the final rung of the ladder? Oh, the f JBL, a self-made millionaire, says he needs to keep the WWE Championship from John Cena. In JBL's mind, John Cena lacks the class to be the WWE Champion. Oh, John Cena's a gutsy fighter. If he wants the WWE Championship, I believe he can take it. It's going to be mighty difficult taking the WWE Championship away from a seasoned veteran like JBL. You said it, JR. Take it away. John Cena will have to take the WWE Championship from JBL. He will fight to the bitter end to retain his WWE Championship. John Cena doing all he can to bring the fight to JBL. Cena is determined. This one is over. Here is your winner and new WWE Champion, John Cena. I can't believe this. JBL went for the clothesline from hell. Cena countered, and now Cena's going to celebrate. We have a new WWE Champion out of nowhere. John Cena, a comeback kid. And talk about his heart and his soul. Ladies and gentlemen, my time is now for the new WWE Champion, John Cena. is an Extreme Rules match scheduled for one fall. In this contest, there are no countouts, no disqualifications, and falls count anywhere. Introducing first, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 250 pounds, the Rated R Superstar, Edge. The Rated R Superstar and his sinister sex pot leader. Edge is going extreme on WrestleMania. Making his way to the ring from Long Island, New York, Mick Foley. Edge blamed referee Mick Foley for losing the WWE Championship. The question remains is can the father of four, Mick Foley, once again, dig deep inside himself and find the evil son of a gun that left an ear in Germany, left burning flesh in Japan, left buckets of blood on five continents, and God knows how many years of his life at hell in a cell in Pittsburgh. Well, I don't know if Mick can find that dark place where the hardcore legend lives, but he certainly doesn't look too jolly tonight. This one is as elementary as it gets. Edge blames Mick Foley for losing the WWE Championship to John Cena on Monday Night Raw back in February. 
and Mick was the ref in that match. And Mick Foley is no stranger to pain. I don't think he likes pain, but I don't think he hates it too much either. One time Mick Foley donated his clothes. Once again, always the difference maker, Lita interfering in this match. is in for a long night tonight. What's he going to find? Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Not the sledgehammer. Oh, my God. It might be a good idea to just stay down after that. Well, there's no sportsmanlike conduct going on right now. He's putting those educated feet to good use. These no DQ matches are so dangerous. Andy Sprax with a pretty. And that was a huge shot. I'm not sure with any of these hits that I've seen the slightest bit of remorse. What a debilitating smash with that chair. What a shot that was by Edge. Did you hear that? Did you hear how his leg connected? Edge on the moon. Nick Foley has a long history of absorbing massive amounts of damage. His knees, particularly, are a well-known weakness. Yeah, but there's only so much damage a human body can take. Is Mick Foley even human anymore? Edge is no stranger to the physical toll that, ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed Mick Foley in some of the most brutal matches one can imagine. He was thrown off the head of the cell in Pittsburgh. He was thrown 16 feet through the cell to the ring on the same night. The man lost an ear in Germany, for God's sakes. After tonight, you can add Edge versus Foley at WrestleMania 22 to the long list of matches where Mick Foley has left a part of himself in the ring. Is that even something to be proud of, JR? Well, a normal man would say no. Absolutely not, King. And as much as Mick Foley, the family man, is as sane as they come, Mick Foley... And now Lita is saturating that table with lighter fluid. Oh, my God! Growing here at WrestleMania King. I don't know if it's anticipation or disbelief. Watch it, Mick. Oh, no. Look out. My God. Foley's flesh may be seared. Speared from the table. Listen to this place explode. Listen to this place go crazy. The following contest is scheduled 
for one fall. And is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, from Washington, D.C., weighing 290 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Animal Batista. He is the Animal, the World Heavyweight Champion, who guarantees a victory here tonight against The Undertaker. Batista missed WrestleMania last year, King, because of an injury. And Batista expects to make his mark here tonight. And if Batista can beat The Undertaker and end the undefeated streak, the animal will indeed make history. Oh, you talk about a date with destiny, JR. If anyone can end his streak, as crazy as it may sound, Batista is the one that can defeat Undertaker and the streak tonight. Introducing the challenger from Death Valley, weighing 305 pounds, The Undertaker. Perhaps no streak in the history of sports entertainment can match up to the 14-0 record The Undertaker has put together here at WrestleMania. A decade and a half undefeated. There's nothing parallel in any sport and any genre anywhere in the world to what The Undertaker has done. His dominance at WrestleMania is amazing. The Undertaker has not taken his eyes off Batista. Batista staring intently at The Undertaker. And he must be wondering inside, is this the final time that Batista will be standing in the ring as World Heavyweight Champion? Oh, Batista has said all along that The Undertaker does not intimidate him. I don't know how the heck he couldn't, but maybe in the animal's case, he doesn't. An absolutely awe-inspiring scene. Over 80,000 WWE fans on their feet as the Phenom, the legendary Undertaker, enters the ring to do battle for the World Heavyweight Championship. And it's hard to accurately describe the atmosphere here. says he is not intimidated that tonight will be different tonight it's not about the street it's all about the world heavyweight championship this one is underway ladies and gentlemen the world heavyweight championship is on the line oh good grief what impact This isn't just a world championship matchup. This is about history and legacy. If Batista wins, he makes history. If The Undertaker wins, his incredible legacy grows even more amazing. Batista is intent on ending the streets. The Undertaker finding his groove against the powerhouse world heavyweight champion Batista.
Undertaker. The dead man has Batista reeling. He has the champion in trouble. This must be part of Batista's master plan, JR. To let the Undertaker punch himself out. Well, King, that's the most dangerous game to play on this stage. There are numerous others who would agree with that. Nowhere to go. He's in perfect position. Complete control. Watch it. And these fans came here to see the streak live on. And damn it to hell, The Undertaker delivered one more time. Weighing 248 pounds, he is one half of the World Tag Team Champions and the WWE Champion, John Cena. Now that's what I call making an entrance. Well, remind me not to ride shotgun with John Cena. It's going to be John Cena versus Shawn Michaels. And I never thought that I would see these two superstars face off at a WrestleMania. HBK won a triple threat match against Randy Orton and Edge on Monday Night Raw to become the number one contender. And then H John Cena finding his mark on HBK. Cena using his tremendous strength advantage to make up for his comparative lack of experience. The Enziguri on the WWE Champion. John Cena looks to be out on his feet. Oh, this doesn't look good, JR. Good God Almighty. Michaels with that springboard moonsault.
catching Cena on our announce table. HBK will do whatever it takes to be the WWE Champion. I mean, they don't call him Mr. WrestleMania for nothing. Whoa. Got a lot of spring left in his step right now. Two. Back into the ring now. Three. Ow. And that punch lands hard. Keep your eye on Cena. Oh my gosh, his neck and back and shoulders driven right into the ground. What a display of power that was. Oh, oh, what a chop. Oh, what a beautiful textbook suplex. Ow, Shawn Michaels is a master at playing the game. Just when you think you have HBK on the ropes, he always finds a way to come back. Oh, you can't let up when you're facing HBK. If you get him down, stay on him. Many an opponent has had Shawn Michaels on the ropes, and many of them have made the mistake of letting up, of letting their guard down. And that's when HBK tunes up the band and delivers sweet chin music. Nice reversal. Shawn Michaels, the showstop. Shawn Michaels looks to be in no man's land. slipping away. Well, the heartbreak kid might be the best to ever lace up his boots, but maybe not tonight. No block. Watch out. And there. There's no doubt Shawn Michaels hoping to get in his cage here in the early goal. Based on experience alone, Shawn Michaels has a tremendous advantage. Well, Jay, when you're competing in the main event at WrestleMania, you got to prepare for this match. You gotta think this match out in your head probably a hundred, no, maybe even a thousand times. And I can assure you that this is not what Cena thought would be happening at this point in the match. Back into the ring now. Two. Oh, what a hit. Rinse and repeat. There it is. Submission! The Hulk's locked in! I think we may be moments away from seeing his breaking point. The patented right hand of Cena. Lord in heaven, what a landing!
The following is a career ripping match. Now in this contest, should Ric Flair lose, he must retire. Introducing first, from San Antonio, Texas, weighing 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels has found himself in one of the most unique situations of his magnificent and storied career. Shawn Michaels, just last night, said he was in the front row when Ric Flair was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And as many of us were, tears were flowing down the face of the heartbreak kid. What Shawn Michaels is challenged to do tonight may certainly give new meaning to the marketing term of heartbreak kid. It is Mr. WrestleMania that Ric Flair wanted here tonight. And I will assure you, ladies and gentlemen, that it is Mr. WrestleMania that the Nature Boy will get. as well as Ric Flair. Thousands upon thousands of fans have traveled from around the world, are standing on their feet in respect of Ric Flair and his quest to continue his storied career. There it is, Vintage Flair, Vintage Nature Boy. Tremendous honor it is to call this match Ric Flair versus Shawn Michaels with Ric Flair's career on the line. If Ric Flair loses here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the Nate must retire. You know, JR, this started a long, long time ago when Mr. McMahon decreed that the next match Ric Flair lost would be his last. And let's not forget, it was Flair who challenged HBK. Flair even said that it would be an honor to be retired by Shawn Michaels. What an emotional moment for both these men. Ric Flair, a 16-time... The Nature Boy's career has been in serious peril for months now, but never so much as tonight up against a fellow legend in Shawn Michaels. I don't think anyone can argue HBK and Flair's abilities and careers. It must be heart-wrenching for HBK to know that winning at WrestleMania tonight means Ric Flair will never compete again. Very, very painful hold here. What's he going to do? Oh, he's going to have to block out the pain if he hopes to escape this. Three! Oh, what an amazing setting. Wait a minute. What, what, what is he doing? Look out! Oh, man, that's got to hurt. Folks, if Ric Flair is the greatest of all time, how can one argue that Shawn Michaels isn't 1A? Watch it. Good night. Ouch. 
this move. It hurts when it's applied to you, and it hurts to apply it. John Cena is determined to reclaim what, as he said, he never lost, the WWE Championship. Quadriceps injury. The game missed WrestleMania last year in Detroit. Triple H is looking to compete here tonight on WWE's grandest stage and become a 12-time world champion. I really don't think that there's anyone that I can recall in my long career that comes to the ring with more intensity 
than the game. He is as intense, as focused as any athlete I think that I've ever seen. And when a man says that he will die to win the WWE title, well, folks, that's passion. Oh, that's intensity. What a unique environment are these triple threat matches. Every man for himself. You cannot get disqualified. You cannot be counted out. It's very simple. The first man to score a pinfall or a submission within the ring is the winner. In 2004, the third generation prodigy, Randy Orton, became the youngest world champion in WWE history. On this occasion, he had over a six month reign, and Orton says he is a one man dynasty. And if Randy Orton can leave WrestleMania 24 as the champion tonight, there's not a man, woman, or child on earth that can deny that. Well, you talked earlier tonight about the passion of Triple H and the desire of John Cena. Randy Orton said that if you combine all of those attributes that Cena and Triple H possess, then you get Randy Orton. champion 
And it's Randy Orton who has the giant target on his back tonight. Oh, what a hit. Triple H looking to be suffering from the lingering effects of his quadriceps injury. And those effects are going to linger for a long John Cena obviously ready for this match. But how long will it be before Triple H and Randy Orton turn on each other? If I'm Cena, I'm hoping it's sooner rather than later. In a triple threat match, sometimes it's best if it's not looking good for Cena. Triple threat matches are so dangerous. Alliances are created and destroyed in a matter of minutes. And you just don't know who you can trust. Nobody, JR. That's who you can trust. Nobody. It's every man for himself in this type of match. The first man to score a pinfall will be declared the winner. That fact alone makes for some interesting dynamics between these three men. Three men who do not like each other, by the way. It is no secret that Triple H and Orton don't like each other very much, and neither of them like John Cena. Seen that one before. John Cena never thinks that he's going to lose. He isn't programmed that way. That's what makes Cena such a fierce competitor. His never say die attitude. Oh, well, he's going to need more than just attitude to get out of this. He's up against the legend killer and the game at the same time. Randy Orton showing a vicious side of himself lately. He is so focused and determined to hold on to the WWE Championship. Oh, the Chain Gang Soldier is at a definite disadvantage here tonight. Orton looking to do some serious damage. Randy Orton is no stranger to killing someone's legend. Looks like he's trying for a pin here. A kick out, and he almost had him. In the knuckle. 
Michaels. And that. Michaels executed that move to perfection. Here's a paper. And one. Slivers out of cover. How much more extreme will this match? Great counter. With a pedigree to John Cena, Orton capitalizes and retains. The following triple threat match is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Rated R Superstar, is over 70,000 fans greeting the World Heavyweight Champion. An entrance befitting an eight-time World Champion. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Three men will be in this match, but only one man can leave with that goal. Well, in a triple threat match, three men, as you say, battle at the same time. There can only be one winner, and the champion edge is at a big disadvantage. Whoa, speaking of big, I don't know what Big Show is going to be introduced weighing tonight, but I'm hearing around 485. Yeah, we talked to Big Show last week before his big match with John Cena on Monday Night Raw. The Big Show says he's weighing in at 485 pounds. Well, that's what he said, but when he got on the scale, the scale said, one at a time, please. And introducing the challenger. First, standing seven feet tall, weighing 485 pounds, The Big Show. From West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing 240 pounds, John Cena. There is no one in the WWE that evokes as much emotion from the WWE fans as does John Cena. and gentlemen, Edge was scheduled to face the Big Show. 
the WWE Championship here at WrestleMania until John Cena interfered at the contract sign. Yeah, John Cena shows up, whispers into Vicky Guerrero's ear, and then she called the contract signing off to the confusion of everyone. Vicky then decreed that Cena would be added to the match here tonight. Oh, Cena was using footage of Big Show and Vicky Guerrero kissing to worm his way into a WrestleMania main event. And it worked! The expression on the face of the Big Show has not changed since this match started. He is focused on one thing, winning the World Heavyweight Championship. A oh, Big Show is no stranger to gold. He's the only man to hold the WWE Championship, the WCW Championship. Big Show is named the number one contender against Vicky Guerrero's husband, Edge. But Cena used the controversial footage to be here tonight. Last week, it was Edge imploring Cena to take out the Big Show. Tonight, we've already seen Edge imploring the Big Show here to take out Cena. You can't trust Edge. He is the ultimate opportunist. Ladies and gentlemen, we have WWE fans from all over the world here tonight. Watching from 68 countries worldwide in 15 different languages. And let's not forget, WrestleMania is being broadcast to our armed forces in 176 countries. And the rules of this triple threat matchup, Edge is the champion but does not have to be involved in the decision to lose that title. First man to gain pinfall or submission will become World Heavyweight Champion. Big Show with a single punch can change the outcome of a match so quickly, JR. He's knocked both Edge and Cena out in recent weeks. Watch out. The champ is here. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. and gentlemen, Big Show beating John Cena is the same as Big Show beating Edge. Either way, the show leaves the champion. Big Show's fists are so big, JR, it's like getting punched in the face with a Christmas ham. The Big Show is an anomaly. A man of his size, Cena, with a short kick to the knee of the Big Show, getting the big man off balance. Looks like Big Show is taking a breather. Trying to get some feeling back oh, into that leg. That was an innovative move. Edge drop kicking the ring steps right into the knees of the Big Show. John Cena driving his leg off the top. Cena's putting his body on the line with that high risk maneuver. King, I'm not sure who got the better of that exchange. Just look at this. You can. Well, the bottom line is the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. And these Edge has made a career of finding or making an opportunity for himself. That might be his biggest attribute. Edge always finds a way to come out on top. Well, some people call it being lucky, but Edge makes his own luck. Hey, when you're an eight-time champion, it isn't all luck.
show. Oh, my God! Attitude adjustment to Edge. This could be it. This could be it. Two. That's two. Three. Oh, my God! He's done it. He scored the win. Here is your winner. For a minute. My mouth was agape when I saw Cena lift both Big Show and Edge simultaneously. This next contest, scheduled for one fall, is for the WWE Championship. Now, if the champion gets disqualified or gets counted out, he will lose the championship. Introducing the challenger, weighing 245 pounds, Randy Orton. You know, somehow, evil shouldn't look that good. I mean... This guy looks like he's chiseled out of stone and ready to do some serious damage. You know, JR, it's ironic that at the 25th anniversary of WrestleMania, Randy Orton is seeking to destroy the family that started it all, the McMahons. Well, I can tell you what the WWE title means to the McMahon family. I've known them a long time, known them well. The WWE title has always been the centerpiece of this magnificent organization that goes back four generations. The WWE title is the one thing left that Randy Orton can take from Triple H. And approaching the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 255 pounds, the WWE Champion, Ripple H. I've often wondered if a man can be so focused on destroying another that he forgets that the richest prize in all of the WWE is around his waist. I think maybe Randy Orton is counting on that here tonight. Because remember, if the game is counted out or disqualified, that's as good as a pinfall or submission. But Triple H is going to have to make a decision. I mean, what's more important? keeping the title, or destroying Randy Orton. I don't think he can do both. Well, let's put it this way. The most important thing in this match for Randy Orton is to win the WWE title. Therefore, the most important thing for the game in this match is to keep that from happening. The question is, obviously, can that be done? Well, it was the day after he won the championship when Triple H turned his back on Randy Orton that Orton said he made a vow to ruin Triple H's life like the game ruined his, to take away what he holds dear, the WWE Championship. Special stipulation. At 24 years of age, Orton made his opportunity. These bodies are shattered. Two. Did you hear the impact from that clothesline? And again, Three. back into the ring now. Look out. Good Lord Almighty. He 
just turned him inside out. And another kick. Triple H is not a man that makes idle promises. Triple H has talked about destroying Randy Orton. And that is a little unsettling. Oh, these men are going at it tooth and nail here. But again, Triple H. What do you do, King? You've seen this man, Randy Orton, kick your father-in-law in the head. Kick your brother-in-law in the head. DDT your wife. And that, King, that's where business picked up. That's where it really became a whole... There's a count. Oh, and Triple H saw it coming. Orton is so cunning. So vicious. When he counters, he knows exactly how to follow them up with one of the most devastating a counter. Triple H executed that move to perfection. Again. And he strikes with a quick kick. And the impact. And down he goes. Man, oh man. Ooh, good night. And there's a hard shot. Delivered by the game. Right hand by Randy. He just reversed that with ease. Triple H is chipping away. No, not again. Here comes some offense from Triple H. He's still not through. Triple H is chipping away. A textbook suplex. Incredible. Randy Orton has been World Heavyweight Champion on three different occasions. Ironically for Orton, which I think is the motivation for this match entirely. Three times, Orton's reigns have been ended by Triple H. You know, he's the youngest ever world champion and a kick. He just turned him inside out. Triple H, the cerebral assassin, so accurate with these shots. What an incredible lariat. And he strikes with a quick kick. Oh, what a painful kick. Beheaded his opponent with that clothesline. And there's a hard shot delivered by the game. You can see the gears turning in the mind of Triple H. What to do next? Here's a cover. champion reaching into the soul of Randy Orton and extracting some retribution and the game plays on well Randy Orton has learned a very valuable lesson on the stage of Wrestlemania tonight be careful how far you back somebody into a corner especially if that somebody is named Triple H The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, the Rated R Superstar Edge. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a nine-time world champion. Edge won this year's Royal Rumble. 
which gave Edge the opportunity to pick which champion he wanted to face here at WrestleMania. Chris Jericho won the World Heavyweight Championship inside the Illumination Chamber. So what does Edge do on the next Monday Night Raw? He spears Jericho and says, I want to face you. Uh, he's the ultimate opportunist, JR. From Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is a six-time world champion, a nine-time intercontinental champion, and one of the greatest superstars to ever grace the WrestleMania ring. Well, Jericho maintains that it is genetics that make him better than Edge. Is Edge prone to physically breaking down? That's the question. 72,219 WWE fans here tonight in Glendale, Arizona. And the WWE Universe watching from all over the world in places like Jericho and Edge's home country, Canada, also New Zealand and Mexico, Spain, Romania, the Middle East, and of course, on the Armed Forces Network. What a night! What a WrestleMania the world is witnessing! Chris 
Jericho retains the title. But Edge felt like a world champion here tonight. He was game. He gave it his all and fell ever so slightly short of his goal. Something tells me this isn't the last time Edge will hold championship gold, JR. The ultimate opportunist will strike again. Mark my words. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. From Washington, D.C., weighing 290 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Animal Batista. Ladies and gentlemen, it's rather ironic that Batista has been craving the spotlight in recent weeks. And here tonight, here he comes in a lone spotlight. 25 times the WWE title has been defended at WrestleMania. 15 times it changed hands. But King, I can't really recall a buildup in the history of WrestleMania that has been as lopsided as this has. Batista has been absolutely dominant. I think you're right. It's physical domination and mental domination. I think somehow, and not many people have been able to do it, but somehow Batista has gotten inside John's head. Cena knows he's going to face Batista tonight, and he knows he's in for the fight of his life against the animal. Introducing the challenger from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing 240 pounds, John Cena. It is the salute to the WWE Universe as John Cena is ready to battle for the WWE title. You know, I just talked about doubt, but right now, I don't see an ounce of doubt on the face of Cena. He looks like a new man. John Cena has said he lives for moments like this. Lives for moments like WrestleMania. And this is going to be a tremendous title match. And there it is. That's what we're here for. is about the most coveted title of them all, the WWE Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, for these two men, their careers both started in 2002. They made their WrestleMania debuts back at WrestleMania 20. They were the final men with stellar records here at WrestleMania. Cena, an eight-time world champion. Batista, six-time world champion. And both of these men want to add one more accolade to their WrestleMania record. And there's a quick kick. The big boot. What sickening impact. He's putting those educated feet to good use. John Cena suffered a broken neck back at SummerSlam 2008. Batista remembers it, as does Cena. I think that's been the impetus, the broken neck that has allowed Batista to play these mind games on Cena over the past couple of years. Remember what Batista said to Cena? You can't beat me. Deep down, you know it. But perhaps some self-doubt now growing in the mind of Batista. Oh, man, what a shot. Cena has 
said that Batista possesses the greatest threat to his career. But Cena says there's something that Batista does. One mistake that Batista makes that he vows to capitalize on. Well, if Batista is intent on retaining his WWE Championship, he needs to grasp control of this match right this second. that he can beat Batista to become a nine-time champion. Oh, what a victory! is the 17th WrestleMania for Mr. WrestleMania. Is it all going to end tonight? Shawn Michaels is arguably the most decorated superstar in WWE history. But for the last year, Shawn Michaels has felt unfulfilled. Shawn Michaels has said his career means nothing if he cannot defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. The eyes of the world are on this match tonight. The eyes of the world are on WrestleMania. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing 299 pounds, The Undertaker. I don't know if there's anything more awe-inspiring than to see The Undertaker enter this huge stadium in front of over 70,000 of our fans here tonight. I mean, it's bone chilling to see him make his way slowly and methodically to this ring. Oh, he is truly a once in a lifetime superstar, The Undertaker. There is reverence here tonight for both of these men. But for The Undertaker, all good things could come to an end. He is 17 and 0 at WrestleMania. It is the greatest streak of all time. During that streak, the dead man has defeated 10 former world champions. And it does not appear that Shawn Michaels is intimidated whatsoever. This one goes back to last year's WrestleMania, where Shawn Michaels lost a classic to The Undertaker. 
That match won the Slammy for match of the year. When he accepted the award, HBK made it very clear if he gets another shot at WrestleMania, he will beat The Undertaker. Yeah, and The Undertaker refused. He said thanks, but no thanks, HBK. This, of course, only made... I followed Shawn Michaels' career. Shawn Michaels has used a crossface, an ankle lock. Shawn Michaels is very adept at the art of submission grappling. And he may need it in that this match can only end in pinfall or submission. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. Shawn Michaels said he would risk anything, everything, if he could beat The Undertaker. Going for the last ride. Not here. Shawn Michaels in trouble. Sweet Tim music. Yeah, but The Undertaker's not in the ring. You can't pin him out here on the table. Wait a minute. Wait. What, what is he doing? What is Shawn Michaels thinking here? Michaels, top rope. Undertaker in trouble. Oh, my God. Moonsault. Moonsault. Undertaker, ladies and gentlemen, right here in front of us, grabbing and grasping at that injured leg. His leg's broken. I think his leg is broken. Wow, he's still down after that. Did you hear how his leg connected? This may come to the surprise of no one. The Undertaker is dominating HBK. It looks like the streak will live on. Never count out Shawn Michaels, JR. Look at him block the attack. reversal by The Undertaker. Uh-oh, it may be time. He just injured him with the power drive. Here's the body press. Oh, and The Undertaker is in sense. The Undertaker cannot believe it. HBK kicked out at the very second. Oh, The Undertaker must be wondering, what does he have to do to put HBK away? Many superstars have tried to defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, and none has succeeded. Never count out Shawn Michaels, JR. so much more. Oh, it way surpassed what anyone could have expected.
The following contest is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Please welcome Alberto Del Rio's personal ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez. Damas y caballeros, en el camino hacia el cuadrilátero, él es el verdadero hijo de México, Alberto is looking to fulfill what he believes is his destiny by becoming the World Heavyweight Champion here at WrestleMania. He's the winner of the 2011 Royal Rumble. And he's here for one reason, and one reason only, the World Heavyweight Championship. Alberto Del Rio was the winner of the biggest Royal Rumble in WWE history. Defeated 39 other superstars to earn this opportunity to compete for the World Heavyweight Championship against Edge. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Rated R Superstar is... Well, the Rated R Superstar is an 11-time world champion, a master manipulator, and the ultimate opportunist. Ladies and gentlemen, I had the opportunity to speak with the World Heavyweight Champion Edge. And he told me that, well, he has a personal vendetta here tonight. He's never successfully defended the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania. Edge vows to do it tonight against a very game, Alberto Del Rio. And this is going to be a tremendous title match. And there it is. That's what we're here for. So indeed, ladies and gentlemen, an unprecedented start for WrestleMania. For the first time in history, the first match of the night, the World Heavyweight Championship will be defended. Will Edge successfully defend, or will it be Alberto Two. Del Rio's destiny to win the title tonight? Well, the last visual we saw, I've got to wonder if this WrestleMania environment, the sheer number of people in attendance and the worldwide audience is having an effect on Del Rio's concentration. Well, it's only natural for Del Rio to be taken back a bit. I mean, it's his first WrestleMania, JR. There's no way to prepare for this. Did you hear that? I saw a kick. And did you hear the impact on that kick? The Rated R Superstar is showing Alberto Del Rio why Edge is the world champion. Showing Del Rio that no one handed Edge the championship. The Rated R Superstar earned it. And if Del Rio thinks he's just going to walk into WrestleMania and take the World Heavyweight Championship from Edge, he is sorely mistaken. Edge has had a stellar career here in the WWE. Del Rio is in the ring with a future Hall of Famer, and he's finding that out the hard way. Edge on the attack. Del Rio talks at length about his destiny. Del Rio, the aristocrat, believes with all his heart that he is a killer. see it in his eyes. Del Rio, this is a painful submission hold and used to great effect here. Oh, he's got to do whatever he can here to try to break this hold. Bam! Oh, man. That's a big shot from Edge. Edge connected. Edge got all of that one. Bam! ddt right on his face. And a kick. You hear how his leg connected? Ouch! You can hear that in different time zones. Edge showing the wherewithal to reverse it. What a vicious spear! This match has been awesome! Going for a pin, here's the cover. Gets, Edge wins! Edge wins it! Here is the winner, and still World Heavyweight Champion, Edge! Edge did 
exactly what he set out to do tonight. Edge successfully defending the World Heavyweight Championship on the grand stage at WrestleMania. Well, Edge has got to feel real good about this victory. Alberto Del Rio talked about how it was his destiny to be the champion. But no, Edge retained in front of this huge, huge crowd here at WrestleMania. Introducing first, from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing 232 pounds, the WWE Champion, The Miz! The brash, outspoken, and some might even say arrogant WWE Champion, The Miz, making his way to the ring. Well, you can say what you want to about The Miz, but he's the defending WWE Champion in the main event of the biggest show of the year. And introducing the challenger from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing 240 pounds, John Cena! 74,000 members of the WWE Universe have set an attendance record tonight to see this WWE Championship match. John Cena versus the WWE Champion, The Miz. Uh, both Miz and Cena are here for one thing and one thing only, the WWE Championship. Cena 
goes down. But for how long? In my opinion, the mark of every great champion in the WWE is that they all have found a way to win. Cena seems on the ropes right now, but do not count out. You can hear the impact of John Cena and that power coming back into play. Cena took the Miz right over the security wall. The referee's got a 10 count to work with. Oh my God! These two men are outside the secured area. The ref is still counting. Ladies and gentlemen, both men have been officially counted up. Therefore, this match has been ruled a draw. However, still your WWE Champion, The Miz. here at WrestleMania 27. The Miz, still WWE Champion. I never thought the match would end like this, JR. Retribution. 
for retaliation. The Rock said this could arguably be the most memorable WrestleMania of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is the end of an era, and it will be contested inside Hell in a Cell. Please welcome the special referee for this match from San Antonio, Texas, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing history here tonight, and I can swear to you, there's nowhere that I'd rather be than right here tonight at WrestleMania 28. Well, there's so much history in this match. And JR, you've been a big part of the history, calling so many great matches involving these great superstars over the years. And it's great to have you out here. Well, I'll tell you what. This is, without question, the biggest honor, the biggest privilege that I've ever had as a broadcaster to be able to sit here and document this matchup between The Undertaker and Triple H, two men who are surefire Hall of Famers. It is an end of an era, and we are all going to be part of it. I do not envy the position that Shawn Michaels is in tonight. Introducing first, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 255 pounds, the game, Ripple H. Talked to the game earlier today, and it was a very poignant conversation. I've been with him since he came to WWE, and he at one time lived for titles, lived for gold, and he earned them. 13-time world champion. Then he lived for the money. He wanted to make millions, and he earned millions. But now, there's only one thing left for the game, and that is tonight. And that is to end the streak of The Undertaker tonight at WrestleMania. And the question on the mind of everyone is, can the game, can Triple H do what his best friend Shawn Michaels was unable to do? And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing 299 pounds, The Undertaker. Through 50-foot-high flames walks the Demon of Death Valley, one of the most intimidating individuals in the history of WWE. And without a doubt, ladies and gentlemen, simply looking at this man and what's at stake, any other human being on the face of the earth would be intimidated, would be afraid of their career or their mortality. But the one man who isn't is standing in the ring waiting, and that's the game. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt that this is the most awesome entrance of any superstar in history. And that's simply because, King, of who it is. The Undertaker, 19 wins, no losses at WrestleMania. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, that the road to everlasting mortality runs through WrestleMania. And on this night, it runs through hell in a cell. And there we see the demonic structure that has main bodies and shortened careers, the cell. I'm not sure the cell can contain these two. I'd like to start off by saying congratulations to the WWE Universe. You know, King, this stadium opened 25 years ago. 
There have been over 2,500 events held here, but tonight, thanks to you, the WWE Universe, we have set a brand new attendance record of 78,363. It's certainly an advantage in one respect, King, but on the other side of the coin is, has he been out of the ring too long? At some point, time catches up with everyone, even the dead man. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at WWE.com lately. They had a great feature on what Triple H has gone through over the last couple of months to prepare himself for The Undertaker inside the cell here tonight. The counter. Oh, reversed. that he lost last year after having to be carried out even though The Undertaker beat the game. The 19-0 streak started for The Undertaker all the way back in 1991 in Los Angeles. And you gotta remember the kind of matches The Undertaker's been through during this streak. JR, I mean, casket matches. So many have tried to beat The Undertaker here. And so many have failed, including Triple H one year ago. The game with a series of vicious chair shots. Oh! Look at the Undertaker's back. He's just fighting to get back up. of this match is off the charts. Someone has to stop this before that sledgehammer breaks him in half. Man, I think something snapped inside that brain. No sane person can do this to another human. Someone has to stop this before that sledgehammer breaks him in half. Man, I think something snapped inside that brain. No sane person can do this to another human. Come on, Rob. Get in there and get that thing away from him. Someone has to stop before that sledgehammer breaks him in half. Woo! Good night. Whoa! Oh, it may be time. There's one unique point we haven't brought up tonight, King. Whether it's coincidence or not.
you see the way his head planted into the floor off that pile driver? Looks like he's trying for a pin here. Three. Oh. Here is your winner, the Undertaker. In four decades, sitting at ringside, I can honestly say that I have never, ever witnessed anything like what we have just seen. The Undertaker is 20 and 0 in WrestleMania. The era has ended, and we will never see it again. And what a way to go out. We will never see Shawn Michaels compete in the ring again, thanks to The Undertaker. But the question remains, ladies and gentlemen, will we ever see The Undertaker compete again? Will we ever see Triple H compete again? Well, one thing we can answer, most definitely, this is the end of an era. Extraordinary respect by Shawn Michaels and by over 78,000 here tonight at WrestleMania. It's as if, ladies and gentlemen, that these three men know that they will never be at the same place at the same time in this exact environment. History was made tonight at WrestleMania 28. for one fall is for the WWE Championship. Now a stipulation has been added that if CM Punk is disqualified, he will lose the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger. From Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. Now, tell me why Jericho should get that unfair advantage from Raw General Manager, Mr. Clown Shoes, John Laurinaitis. Well, because John Laurinaitis is in charge of Monday Night Raw and SmackDown, he's forcing a no disqualification match for the WWE Championship tonight. Perhaps there was a method to Chris Jericho's madness of the past month, because Jericho has been trying for weeks to get into the head of CM Punk. What do you mean trying to get in his head? The things that that man said were absolutely reprehensible, deplorable. Well, to listen to Chris Jericho, he's responsible for all this. You know, he invented everything. I mean, he's the root of all things that have happened here in the WWE. Everybody tries to emulate him, especially CM Punk. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois. 18 pounds, the WWE Champion, CM Punk. CM Punk has lost the champion's advantage. Not only can Punk lose the WWE Championship via pinfall or submission, but Punk can also lose it via disqualification. Talk about anger management. Somehow tonight in this match, CM Punk is going to have to manage his own anger or it could cost him the gold. And that's the question, King. We follow CM Punk's career. Do you think, do you believe that Punk can refocus his anger and his frustration? Do you think Punk will be able to do that tonight against Jericho? Or will he let it overtake him and perhaps cause a disqualification? Somehow, some way, CM Punk's got to put all the things that he's heard out of the mouth of Chris Jericho about his family aside. He cannot think about that during this match. Oh boy, look at the goal. This should be an outstanding match. This one is underway. 
Ladies and gentlemen, since the summer of 2011, CM Punk has successfully defended the WWE Championship, calling himself the best wrestler in the world. It is a claim that Chris Jericho disputes. That's right, Come on, JR. Punk, let's go. Jericho Come accused on, Punk of being a copycat. A Jericho, if you will. And that Punk stole his proclamation of being the best in the world. Jericho has resorted to him. Chris Jericho is one of the greatest big game players in WWE history. He defeated Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock on the same night to become the undisputed WWE Champion. That's something the likes of which we will never see again, JR. Well, be that as it may, King, what Jericho has done in the past is look at this juncture. Is there are 78,363 fans in attendance at WrestleMania 28 tonight in Miami. It is a record-breaking crowd, and they will witness one of these two men walk out the WWE Champion. Seth, he's showing he'll do anything it takes. direction for Chris Jericho. Four. The self-professed Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla needs to find a way Five. back in the game. Punk said a couple of weeks ago that he obviously has the devil in his DNA. But now, that's Jericho's problem. Uh, Jericho can be as nasty as they come. I think these two men have more in common than they would admit. Both of these superstars are master psychologists. Jericho has been playing mind games with Punk for weeks now. Oh, CM Punk has got to overcome Jericho's mind games. Oh, uh, Jericho has really got in the head of Punk. You have to wonder if he can get focused and get back in this match. CM Punk is a five-time world champion and one of the most controversial superstars in WWE history. Speaking his mind with that pipe bomb, as he calls it. that is more even than that one was. Peaks and valleys, ups and downs. CM Punk remains the WWE Champion. Introducing first, from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing 251 pounds, John Cena! Oh, this is so much to soak in, even for this young man. He's loving it! WrestleMania. This is it. Two faces of their generations. Two icons in their prime. Oh man, this match epitomizes WrestleMania.
gentlemen, here we go. It's been over a year since these two have traded barbs, goading each other through social media, and if the time for talking is over. Both these men have been very vocal and very entertaining in all their trash talk over the better part of a year. But now it's time to find out who will walk out of WrestleMania the better man. Well, sometimes, JR, you can get wrapped up in all the trash talk and lose sight of what's really important. It all comes down to proving it in the ring. And right now, Cena's finding out what so many before him have learned. The Rock is more than just a bunch of catchphrases and a raised eyebrow. John Cena is in the ring with a world-class athlete. Oh, what a wow. right hand. Oh, man, right on the button. And Cena goes down. He's got him. You know, we're talking about enjoying this match as a fan king, but John Cena has put so much pressure on himself going into this main event. If you recall what Cena said, and has said week after week, John Cena has to win. He has to win this match tonight. Well, for John Cena, it's a must-win match tonight. He said after WrestleMania, life goes on for The Rock, but the WWE is what Cena lives for. of this main event. Cena has hit the rock right where Cena wanted it. And it's a testament to the rock's natural, God-given abilities that he can put John Cena in such a precarious situation. Well, the rock said he and Team Bring It would lay the smack down on John Cena tonight. And he's backing his words up with his fist. Cena's in serious trouble, JR. Here we go. From Chicago, Illinois, weighing 218 pounds, C.M. Punk. There he is, King, the former WWE champion, C.M. Punk. Punk helped the WWE title for 434 consecutive days. Lost the title to The Rock at Royal Rumble, then turned his attention 
to The Undertaker, and ever since, his actions have been downright despicable. Well, Punk made no friends in the WWE Universe with his antics leading up to this match. Punk has disrespected The Undertaker's legacy and stole his property. CM Punk has made his bed, and now, folks, he must lie in it. From Death Valley, weighing 299 pounds, The Undertaker! This man needs no introduction. He is 20 and 0 at WrestleMania. Tonight is not about 21 and 0. It's about vengeance. Tonight, CM Punk has his hands full with a very angry and determined Undertaker. And that's the worst thing in the world for CM Punk. I mean, The Undertaker retired Shawn Michaels, and he respected him. What is he going to do to a guy like CM Punk? The Undertaker has been on the receiving end of mind games, sneak attacks, and outright disrespect from CM Punk. This won't resemble a wrestling match, in my opinion. Tonight, it's going to be a slaughter. That's right, JR. Tonight, The Undertaker can finally shut up CM Punk, defend his legacy, and extend his streak to 21-0. This epic confrontation is underway. CM Punk looking to end the legendary WrestleMania streak. The Undertaker on, looking for vengeance enough. against a disrespectful challenger. Well, CM Punk has made it very clear that he doesn't need to pin The Undertaker to end the street. Punk would be happy with a countout or a disqualification. Punk will do anything he has to to end The Undertaker's WrestleMania streak. CM Punk has shown a complete and utter Dude. lack of respect in relation to The Undertaker. Punk's gone over the line Three. of good taste, and he may pay a very steep price right here tonight. Wait, OJ. This is about affirmation. CM Punk believes that he is the best in the world. Paul Heyman thinks Punk is the best in the world. But it infuriates Punk that there are those out there who do not agree. Undertaker, the best striker in the history of the WWE. An emotion running through his veins. Punk reversed it. Oh, that was a serious shot there. CM Punk held the WWE title for 434 days. The Undertaker with a historic 20-0 at WrestleMania. One way or another, history will be made here tonight. Now believe me, The Undertaker wants to do more than make history. He wants vengeance for the disrespectful behavior from Punk towards the recently fallen Paul Bear. Still not through. I can only imagine. 
using the force behind those shots from the dead man. Sturm kick. Running clothesline. Seen that one before. The winner of this match, The Undertaker. Can you say 21 and all? Year after year after year. Opponent after opponent after opponent. The will and the perseverance of the most incredible performer in WrestleMania history. The Undertaker is 21 and all at WrestleMania. It's the holy grail of win streaks, JR. It's the greatest streak alive. is a no-holds-barred match where Triple H's career is on the line. There will be no count-out and no disqualification. Anything goes. And the only way to win is by pinfall or submission. Please welcome, at this time, Mr. WrestleMania, WWE Hall of Famer, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn well, Mr. WrestleMania is right. Shawn Michaels has walked that ramp of the grandest stage of them all so many times and has been so successful. The irony is that HBK's career was ended at WrestleMania. simply because he likes to hurt people and make money. No, Triple H will need to find his pace early and stay on Lesnar. If Lesnar finds his stride, we may be seeing the end of Triple H's in-ring career.
anybody in this business. Shawn Michaels and Ric Flair were both forced to retire at WrestleMania. Triple H made... You gotta remember how emotional and how personal this is for Triple H. Brock Lesnar attacking him and his friends, putting his father-in-law, Mr. McMahon, in the hospital. Well, it's no holds barred. Triple H is looking for payback for those broken arms, but he has to keep focused and realize that if he loses in any way, his career is over. Here comes some offense from Triple H. The cerebral assassin. Brock Lesnar won a WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Triple H has been involved in some of the greatest matches in WrestleMania history. And we could be seeing the game's last match here tonight. You knew this was going to be a physical confrontation between the game and Lesnar. Brock Lesnar looks to be having the most fun when he's causing the most pain. And that is something Brock Lesnar has no problem admitting. No apologies, no excuses, just unrelenting pain. Here we go, outside of the ring, and there are no countouts in this match. Boy, he just got laid out. If this was a hockey match, we'd say he hit the boards. These no DQ matches are so dangerous. How in the world did he counter that? And he unloads with everything he's got. Gets out of the way of that attack. And bashes him with a tear. Man, I think something snapped inside that brain. No sane person can do this to another human. He's got him locked in. Will this be it? He's wearing him down with a very effective submission hold. snapped inside that brain. No sane person could do this to another human. Here's a cover. Oh, man. How close can it get? If that didn't slay the monster Brock Lesnar, nothing will. Triple H just teeing off. And he strikes with a quick kick. What an impact from that kick. He fights it off. to the stomach. I don't believe it. Momentum's changed hands again. Now that's how you thwart the attack. Triple H, so calculated as he prepares to further decimate his opponent. Survived the beast, Brock Lesnar. The third time is the charm for Triple H, the king of kings. Triple H defending his kingdom and systematically defeating Brock Lesnar.
scheduled for one fall is for the WWE Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing 251 pounds, John Cena. And here comes the challenger, the polarizing John Cena, receiving a mixed reaction as usual from the WWE Universe. 80,676 in attendance tonight. And every single one of these fans are voicing their opinions. John Cena has stated that his loss last year at WrestleMania 28 derailed Cena's entire life. From Miami, Florida, weighing 265 pounds, he is the current WWE Champion, The Rock. And here comes the WWE Champion, the People's Champion, The Rock. And the millions and millions of The Rock's fans welcoming him back to WrestleMania. I think it's safe to say that John Cena is not one of the millions of The Rock's fans, King. Well, that may be true, JR, but one thing is for certain, The Rock is WWE Champion. Love him or hate him, John Cena has to take the title from The Rock. Elbow. What an effective weapon. And that punch lands. 
Survivor Series. He left WWE for a number of years and returned a huge box office star to reclaim the WWE title. Well, the Rock beat Austin and Hogan at WrestleMania. He beat Cena last year. The Rock has to be considered the greatest of the modern era. That's what's on the line here. Your place in history and the legacy you leave behind. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. to get up, it takes more and more effort. History is written by those who dare to achieve the immortal glory of champions on the biggest stage of all. You have witnessed the greatest superstars in WWE history. These icons of a generation have entertained billions of WWE fans. As attitudes changed, so did WWE superstars. And the superstars of today clashed with the titans of yesteryear. As past glory fades, a new era is born. What future legends will be made? What memorable moments have yet to be created? What greatness will the WWE Universe bear witness to? At the Showcase of the Immortals, the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania.